Hello everyone and welcome back to another video. Today, I'm going to demonstrate the Galaxy AI features on Samsung's Galaxy Tab S9 Ultra. Now keep in mind that these features are also compatible with other devices since they're all running the same software. So we have One UI 7.0. Now we also have the newer Galaxy Tab S10 series, which will also have all of these features as well. So now we're going to press start and let's explore the software. So let's see the introduction screen. Galaxy AI, Advanced Intelligence. Sorry about the dust on the screen. There's quite a lot of AI features as you can see, and we'll be testing them out in this video. The first feature I wanna go over is called Circle to Search. Now, I'm pretty sure almost everyone knows this. It's been very heavily advertised. So all you need to do is hold down on the home button over here, and now you can circle things to search for them. So it says holding the home button now lets you search what's on screen. So it's basically showing me my entire display and I can circle over here and it will probably search for the wallpaper. Yeah, see? Let's go to something more tricky. So I have this photo that I took of the BYD Sea Lion. I want to circle the exact car. So just the Sea Lion and let's see what happens. So yeah, it does bring up photos of that vehicle. Now the next feature I want to show you is called Live Translate. Well, I can't really actually demo it since I don't know anyone who speaks another language. Uh, like that's in one of the options. But basically, to enable this feature, open the phone app. That's actually such a large phone. And then tap on the three dots on the top right. Tap on settings. Tap on live translate and enable it. So as of now, it's already enabled. I can turn it off and then back on. And there are a few options down here. So you can choose the language, choose the voice and also choose the other person's language. So for example, uh, as of now, it's set to Spanish and it will actually download the language to your device so it can translate it. You can also choose to mute the other person's voice so you'll only hear the translation and not them speaking Spanish, for example, which is the current selected language. Now within Samsung Messages, you can translate. This is not an AI feature, but it's just been built in. It's called Google Translate. So if we write something like, the quick brown fox, we can translate that by tapping on this translation icon and then selecting our language. So as of now, it says English. So we can go and move over to Spanish. And it says the quick brown fox. Hopefully that's actually correct. So if we do translate it the other way, it does say the quick brown fox. Now I'm going to show you the interpreter. Hi, Bixby. Interpreter. I don't think it actually... Interpreter mode. Bixby. Okay, that's a fail. Hi, Bixby. Interpreter. Now it did get my request and it is opening the interpreter. So in the interpreter, we have a few modes. We have conversation mode and listening mode. Now conversation mode is kind of like sort of a real person. Just imagine if you'd have an interpreter right next to you, you can just talk naturally. Hello, my name is Ernest. I speak English. Hola, me llamo Ernest, hablo inglés. See? Now, I don't actually speak Spanish. Mi nombre es iPhone y hablo español. My name is Tyson and I speak Spanish. Okay, well, its name is iPhone, not Tyson, but I mean, it did translate it. Por favor, dale me gusta video. See, it says please like the video or something like that. But uh, as you can see, this is called the listening mode. So basically just listens and translates. Okay, the next thing I'm going to demonstrate is called Chat Assist. Now, I'm just going to message my own account. And as you can see, I have a sentence drafted. So it says, today is a good day to make videos. I'm going to send it. Now, this is quite a boring sentence. But we're going to type the same sentence again and use AI. So, hello. Today is a good day to make videos. Now, this is Instagram, so this button over here is Meta's own AI, not Samsung's AI. 
So you want to make sure that you're actually using the correct AI. And to find Samsung's AI, look for the Galaxy AI button. So it's this one over here. And now we have lots of different options. So we have our spelling and grammar, our writing style, and we also have our composer. So for this, I think the best tool to use is the writing style. So we can change the tone. So we can make it social. Um, let's make it sound professional. So it says today pre presents an opportune time for video production. We can also make it polite. Hello, today would be an excellent day to create some videos. Now I'm going to type a note. So hello everyone. Summarize. Generate summary. Oh, it can't summarize with less than 200 characters. Okay. Let's see if this is already over 200 characters. Summarize. Okay, now. Generate summary. There's lots of redundant text. Let's see what happens. Okay, so we have our summary. The BYD Shark 6 DMO is a plug-in hybrid pickup truck offering off-road capabilities, strong safety features, and good value for its price. It's considered rugged and durable unlike other BYD models. Very good. I'm gonna tap on replace. And now my work sounds better, right? So if you have like scripts for long meetings or whatever, you can just let your AI take care of the summary. Okay, so the next feature is the drawing assist. It is on, so basically it will turn simple sketches into detailed images. So I'm gonna draw a bus. over here and we'll put like our door and then we'll put like our, our windows. Okay. So this is our bus. Now where's the AI? So I'm going to select this drawing and turn it into an illustration. So let's see if we have our bus. Okay, well, I guess it kind of did get my concept and made a sort of illustration of a bus. Now I'm going to show you some features, AI features within the gallery app. So let's say you're watching a fireworks show or whatever video and you want to instantly play it in slow motion. All you need to do is just tap and hold down. And look, we're now watching the video in slow motion. Obviously, these are fireworks, but this is an insane feature. Imagine if you're like doing golf or something and you want to watch it in slow motion. I'm assuming it fills in the frames with AI to like make it look slow so that it's still smooth. That is crazy. And once you're done, it will give you a prompt to save the clip in slow motion. How insane is this feature? Like, that's one of my favorite things. Uh, now, I also have another photo over here. This is a still image. And we can now apply some of the AI features. So we're going to tap on our Galaxy AI symbol. And we have generative edit. I can tap on this button to automatically select the photo bombers or like, the people in the photo and with this icon over here, I can kind of move them around. And now the people will be removed. Just wait. Check this out. That's amazing. Like, look, they're just gone and it fills in the details so well. Now we're going to save a copy of this photo. And it will kind of add our, our AI watermark. So it's just AI generated content. That way you can't fool anyone. Um, and they know that it's AI. Now we're going to go ahead and check out the other features. So we have generative edit. That was the one we, we just did. And then we also have sketch the image. So we can draw things that we want to add in the image. Okay, so I'm going to draw an aircraft over here, right? So let's say this is our um, plane, like something like that. I don't know. I don't know how to draw. Okay. But 
Let's put our put our plane. We need some windows. How come my S fan is not working? Okay, and we'll put some like some wind and some engines. So we have our our rough sketch of a plane. Let's generate. It's also nice that you can place the S Pen over here. So obviously it charges at the back with a wireless charger, but once you're not charging it, you can just place it here. Okay, so it did create our plane, but uh, it's not really the exact match where it was flying in this direction. But we do have a plane. Not the most realistic plane, but I guess there is a plane, so I'd say it works. Now, hopefully you enjoyed watching this video, and I hope you learn more about Samsung's Galaxy AI features. This is such a massive tablet. Feel free to leave a question, comment, or suggestion down below. And please like and subscribe for more, and I'll support my channel. So, thanks for watching.